Yo, it's Yuji. Welcome back to Closet Talk. Shalom. Hi. I'm alive. Um, and guess what, baby? It's already fall. That means that three months have passed since I started my YouTube channel, which is actually kind of crazy to think about. And I mean, like, we already got like 58 subscribers, which is honestly a lot better than I thought. And people are actually watching my videos. So thank you, everyone, for watching my videos. Make sure you subscribe because i have plans for the future and i doubt i'm gonna end this youtube series because i mean i actually enjoy recording these videos but anyways fuck that shit it's the new season um the fucking summer season mostly ended this week well i'm recording this on sunday so that means we have a week break before the new season starts so we're starting a watch list and gonna fucking tell you what i'm most excited for on the fucking fall season but first off um i don't care about the mainstream stuff a lot of new animes are coming out i want to talk about the more underground kind of sleeper animes because i feel like some of these are actually going to be really good like so first off i'm just gonna mention some of the uh new big animes coming out that I think everyone's gonna watch anyways so like for example we got shield hero season three i think but i haven't even seen season one or two I, I, that's like the main uh big three of the isekai uh that i haven't watched we have spy family season two which is gonna be a fun anime for some reason goblin slayer is getting a season two and i mean who the fuck actually watched goblin slayer it was like what the fuck? Like, it's, whatever. Fuck that. Oh, but we got Eminence of Shadows, which is gonna be hype. Season 2. Like, I'm excited for that because it's literally a terrible fucking anime. Uh, Dr. Stone, part 2, whatever. We got Tokyo Revengers. Okay. And just like a lot of shit. Oh, like we got Undead Unlocked, uh, Shonen Jump manga, which I'm actually kind of excited for. But everyone's gonna be watching that because it's a Shonen Jump. So, I'm not gonna talk about it that much. I don't know, a lot of random ass animes from like, last year, or like over two years ago, are getting an anime. Like for example, freaking Saihate no Paladin. Like, I, re I know I watched the anime, I do not remember a single fucking scene. Which is crazy. So yeah, that's getting in season two. We got fucking, uh, this. Uh, I remember season one and I was like, cool, it's over. But somehow it's getting a season two. And I'm just all like, oh, um, okay, cool. Oh, and then we got fucking Kanojo Ma Kanojo, which, holy fuck, I'm not gonna tread into. That might be the fuck, that might be a trap. That is definitely trash. <laughs> but, anyways, fuck that. We're gonna get into it with our first most anticipated anime. That's right, you guessed it. Lesbian Isekai! That is right, motherfuckers! I am so excited for this. I don't know why. I was scrolling through Twitter, and it, it, I saw the trailer, and I'm like, this is awesome. It's called, uh, I'm in love with the villainous, or Watashi no Oshiwa, Ayu- Well, Akuyaku Deijo. Whatever, some character's name. But, basically, it's a girl that got teleported into her favorite, um, visual novel video game, and then now she's just- you know, gonna get a little fruity up in here. We got that Yuri shit. I love lesbians in anime, by the way. Like, every lesbian anime out there I've seen, and it's fucking great. It's so wholesome. Fucking awesome. But, like, it, it actually kind of looks entertaining because, like, she's clearly only interested in the girl. And there's, like, a bunch of, like, ikemen or, like, hot dudes. But she's just like, oh, fuck these guys. So, I think it's actually gonna be pretty funny. So yeah, Lesbian Isekai is definitely <laughs> my first <laughs> first watch list for sure. Number two on the list is called Shy. Uh, it's just like a girl being a superhero, and the whole, whole idea is that she's shy. But I think it's actually gonna be a pretty entertaining anime. Like, I feel like the storyline will be basic, but sometimes you need a little basic to appreciate the greater stories out there. Right? Like, that's why, alright, the whole reason why I watch a lot of shitty and trashy anime is because I enjoy it, but also because I watch these to appreciate how good, like, story writing is, right? Because, like, if I always watch good animes, I'm gonna get bored of good animes. That's why you got, like, you need a little shit in your life to enjoy the good. You know, that's, that's just life right there. 
So, but I think Shy isn't gonna be that bad. I think he's just gonna be mid. But hopefully, like the characters and like the character-driven arc, whatever, like the development with throughout the anime will be cool and entertaining to watch. So yeah, maybe uh, maybe he might be a sleeper, but who knows? We'll find out. Number three on the list is Kamiyetabi. Uh, so this show, if anyone's has seen Platinum End. It is exactly the same as plot as Platinum End. But the thing is, all right, this is a brand new anime, original from a brand new studio. What is it? Studio, studio Unend. So it's actually going to be interesting to see how these people work. Like, see a completely new studio come out. I love supporting new studios. Like, uh, Sabikui Bisco. That was a great anime. That was an amazing job by a brand new production team. So I'm looking forward to this one, but like character design look very unique. Um, direction seems cool, but my only complaint is that the story is going to be the exact fucking same as Platinum N. I mean, Platinum N was pretty fucking... Oh, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, but basically we have this guy who fucking ends up getting an app. And then now there's like some sort of fucking tournament between people that have to kill each other to decide who becomes a new god um but yeah uh maybe it might be good hopefully but i don't know like new animation studio let's see what they got right so we got gotta keep that positive mental attitude yo uh this is me in the future editing this video at 2 41 in the morning um i don't know why i'm awake but all right um i'm a certified dumbass i don't do my research at all which i should do for these animes, um, I, I editing this video and realize that Kamiyeta B will, does not seem to be at all close to Platinum N. Like, all right, all I did was see the cover poster and read the synopsis on Mal. And yeah, that's how I came to that conclusion. But I learned that the original creator is from the fucking guy who made Nier Automata. So like, clearly it's going to be more like futuristic and sci-fi shit right and it's just all like the director is the guy who made literally all the like best cgi animes like ajin and like the fucking godzilla movies so yeah um I'm, I'm just completely wrong so yeah i just wanted to clarify that but yeah all right back to the video <sighs> oh god my handwriting's so bad <laughs> ah! Next on the list is Soul Sona Freedom. Uh, everyone's been talking about this manga. I mean, Giga talked about this manga. Everyone on like the anime world knows about this manga. And the whole idea is that the first episode is going to be two and a half hours, I think it was. Which is literally a fucking movie. But hey, I guess if you need two and a half hours to fucking dedicate an entire introduction of a mo ep season, then I guess... I mean, Oshinoko did that, but it was an hour long, and it needed to be an hour long. So, I I must assume that it needs to be like two and a half fucking hours for the first episode for it to be actually impactful. But the issue is, like, if the rest of the anime is just 20 minutes, I feel like it's just gonna be, like, taken away. Because that's what happened with Oshinoko, in my opinion. Because the first episode was, like, an hour long, and the rest were, like, 20 minutes, it kind of got boring. And, like, the pacing was like dying off slowly but hopefully this is a good anime i've heard a lot of good things about the manga i haven't read it personally but um yeah apparently it's sad and i love sad shit because i love feeling sad all the time anyways last on the list is my most anticipated fucking anime you have no idea how long i've been waiting for this one all right it is kim no koto wa dai 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 ski right or the hundred girlfriend anime holy fucking shit i've been following this manga for i want to say the better part of three years <laughs> ever since um the anime man joey himself uh made a video about like talking about this manga this manga is peak i uh, fuck you i know i have a problem with uh my harems but I'm telling you right now, the comedy is so fucking good. All the characters are goofy and fucking adorable. It's great. Dintaro is a chad. But, oh my god. This anime has so much potential. And I'm terrified that it won't live up to it. Because of the copyright infringements. Because there's so much comedy. 
like it's Gintama level comedy, and it's so fucking funny. But my main concern is that they didn't get the copyright for half the jokes, so then like it's just not gonna be that funny. But like I don't know because the trailer aren't promoting any of the comedy. It's been promoting just all the girls that we're gonna see, which is gonna be great. I love the uh, original uh, five. I think the original five we're gonna meet, yep. And, oh uh, god, fucking damn it, I'm so excited. But you don't even know, man. Like, there's there's 300 plus chapters. I've been following this shit forever. It's just so fucking good. Like, there's just so much to it that I'm just like, fuck, please don't fail. Cause it's so funny and it's so good. Like, unironically, please, fucking studio, whatever. Like, don't fuck up. I beg of you. If you fuck this up, I will actually cry. Um, 100 Girlfriend, I think, will be the trash of the season, but that's an episode for another day. But, yes, so far, this is my uh, anticipated sleeper list. We got the lesbian isekai, shy, uh, kamiyarabi, free ren, and then the 100 Girlfriend anime. These are what I believe will be, like, the biggest... Um, either upset or most slept on animes i mean free run probably won't be slept on like because everyone's been promoting this shit but besides that uh we got a lot of new shit coming summer season was okay it was kind of sad but hey jjk is finally getting sh their shit together and it's getting hype as fuck so that's fun to look forward to we got aot final season part three part two which is fucking stupid to say but it's finally coming november so that'll be fun to watch. But besides that, I think that's the end of the video. It's been Yuji. Thanks for watching, everybody.